Hey it. guys, Jake Widgen here with an awesome daily catch report out of Sunset Marina. I'm here with Austin Enzer on the primary search. He caught a fish today called an opa. And for many of us, what the hell is an opa? We had no idea. I had to go on Google and look it up. But it's a fish that's uh, actually native to like Hawaii. Right, Austin? It's right here at the West Coast. Yeah, yeah, I mean, unheard of for Ocean City. So Austin's going to tell us about his day and uh, get you guys pumped up for the fishing weather. Uh, went out there looking for some dolphin first thing. It's my favorite swordfish bait, so I like to catch a few fresh ones if possible. Uh, the water temperature has dipped about six degrees since last Saturday, so it's about 59 out there right now. So no dolphin home, obviously. Uh, ran down the line a little bit, check out some spots. Uh, came up to my first swordfish spot. Nothing on the first drop, repositioned a little bit. Had a nice sword bite on the second drop that didn't come tight. Uh, the third drop we caught this swordfish. It was a nice healthy swordfish, so we uh, harvested him. And then we tr turned right around and dropped again, almost in the same spot. And on the way down, um, James was letting the rod out, and it wouldn't hit the bottom. I said, you have about 300 more feet to hit the bottom. You know, you better come tight. So it came tight, came tight, came tight, and then the rod loaded. And then about an hour and a half later, you know, after some pretty pretty uh, ridiculous runs, we knew it was exactly somewhere between a tuna and a swordfish. Uh, we caught a big eye deep dropping last week, so we kind of have an idea of what they you know they fight like. And this thing was kind of somewhere in between the two of a, like, is it a swordfish, is it a tuna? And uh, he stayed about 300 feet from the boat for an hour. And then once he gave up, he came right up, right up to the surface. And then uh, throughout the last 100 feet, you, I was speculating on what it was. First, it was a tuna, because well, I knew it didn't have a bill. Then second, it was something with spots, no idea what it was. And then finally, about 40 or 50 feet away, visibility's not so good this time of year, I yelled, it's an opa. And uh, probably the funniest part of it is when James says, what's an opa? <laughs> and then uh, about, Probably five minutes later, it came up, got a gaff in him, and uh, landed the fish. And actually, a buddy of ours was fishing right next to us out there. So it's pretty cool. Got some good pictures and uh, fish for a lifetime. Pretty cool stuff. So cool. Sounds like an awesome day that you had today, guys. The the sword fishing's kind of heating up, although it's a little late in the year. It's definitely heating up. We've had some other reports come in that some uh, sword fish are being caught. So like like Jake and Austin said, it's it's the time of year for it. So good luck out there.